Hi, welcome to Alcott Amster. Today I'll be viewing this iSteady X. It's a three access palm gimbal for smartphones. It's made by this company, Home. I have reviewed their gimbals in the past. The last gimbal I reviewed, it was slightly larger. This one's a bit more compact. And it's also a bit cheaper too. I'm gonna show a couple pages from the user manual. Usually I do this is because in case I ever forget or lose the manual, I just come here. The manual doesn't cover all available options because there is quite a lot. In their smartphone app, it's called Ho the was it, Home Pro. They do have tutorial videos to make things easier for myself, for other users. There's calibration information, FAQs, specs of this. So for the control range, for the tilt, is 30 degrees at most. For the pan roll, there's much wider range. Extended warranty information. Came with a little carrying pouch. And a, a chicken feet or your tripod adapter. Tripod pod adapter goes right on the bottom here. I can use a selfie stick if I want to. Yeah. To store it, just clip it right onto here. When I want to use it, just pop it off. And also, the turn right now is locked. When I say locked, it's not like hardcore locked. I just need to twist, twist this a little bit. Now it's unlocked. The same goes for this side too. Just if I just turn it this way, I can unlock it. There's some spec information. Bluetooth LED, power LEDs. There's just two buttons, but they serve a different purpose depending on how I press it. If I tap it twice, I switch it between taking a photo, taking a video. On this side, I can turn it on or tap it twice, just, or tap it once to switch between landscape mode or portrait. And here's a zoom function. The zoom function works just with their app though. This hand strap came with it. It's charged with a USB Type-C cable, which was included. Now for my smartphone, it's a iPhone X S Max with a case, and it still fits in here. I have another smartphone here. This one's the iPhone 7, I believe, which is about the same size as the XS Max, and it still fits fine too. I'm just gonna press and hold this button right now for about three seconds, it turns on. The blue tooth LED is now blinking. Here's the Pro app, Hoenn Pro. Just need to get past this commercial. All right. Currently says this Bluetooth is connected. That's because this unit is powered off. But I just want to show that here are the tutorial videos I mentioned earlier. I hit start recording. This is the menu system for it. And we'll go to settings here for a sec. I can record in different resolutions from 720, 60 frames, all the way up to 4K, 60 frames. But that's because my phone also supports it. For the gimbal parameters, here I can choose pan tilt, pan follow, all lock, point of view. I can also change it, not just within the app, but based on how I press the button. So for example, if I press and hold the left button, but then tap on the right button, that'll be pan tilt. Tap the right button twice, it'll be pan follow, and so on. 
right now I'm just showing the features that I've used more often. Oh, and also the reverse stick. That one I, um, right now it's powered off, but usually I have this set to reverse too. One of the more popular questions I got were about time lapse. This one does have time lapse, and there's two types of time lapse. But this time lapse, it does not automatically pan. Whereas if I go to moment, these are presets. This one, for example, is inception. I can, well, back to its inception, I can have it rotate 180 or 270. I'm gonna hit start here for a second. Oh, it's not confirmed. Here's the fantastic rotation. Panoramic. Now, this is the smart motion time lapse where once I start it, it will actually pan the gimbal. Dolly zoom. Here's dynamic and lucky. There's no music right now. That's because I turn this off. But if I turn it on, it records the video with music. If I had the music turned off, it records with just through the microphone. And another question I got were about tracking in person. This Pro app, this does offer it, and it works pretty well. There's object tracking on the left side, person tracking. I have not been able to get object tracking to work, but person tracking, that works very well. I connected the little chicken feet tripod adapter just so it's easier to hold. And press hold this for three seconds, power it up. This time, straighten it back up. It says eye steady, right in the middle, blue green ish color. This is it's now connected. Here, thing I couldn't show before, that was the device information. So this is the firmware I'm testing with right now. My favorite function is the smart motion time lapse but currently you can only record a total of 15 seconds. A range, I'm gonna set it to one minute. And while this is starting, a little countdown there. With my current firmware, what I noticed is that they removed the battery little icon for the, the gimbal. On the upper left, they just show the battery, how much it was left for both the smartphone and the gimbal. But with this recent firmware update, I just see it for the gimbal. It's no big deal. I'm currently at the park with my kids. Oh, currently right there in the water. I'm holding on to the, uh, just carefully, because I don't want this to drop into this little pond here. And if we look at the lower left, it's telling me how much time has passed for the time lapse. And once this is done, I can either choose to reshoot it or save it. Also keep in mind that I'm shooting this without the, the audio in the background, or the, their, their provided music audio. So now I'm just gonna hit save video. And save successfully. Let's go for a little jog, Marcus. Let's go that way. This gimbal works great with my FOM XS Max. It's, I have no issues with the rotation of it. It's, everything's very smooth. It does not capture any motor noise. The app that they provided, pretty neat app. It'd be nice if the, the time lapse, the smart time lapse, allowed me to record more than 15 seconds. Oh, come on. But that's not a big deal. Most of the time, I still find myself just using the smart, the iPhone app just because it's easier to launch, quicker to launch. When everything is folded up, it can fit in my pocket. 
I like the portability of it. It charges with a standard port, USB Type C. The little tripod adapter on the bottom over there, or the leg. It's a welcome addition. This does provide a good level of stability, whether I'm trying to shoot video or take photos. Now, when jogging with this, if I'm not jostling too diff too hard, the video will still come out smooth. If um, I'm not going to put this on like a um, like a bike, for example, because then I think the vibration would be too much. Now, keep in mind, compared to my $300 gimbal, this cannot compete with it. But this is just it's less than seventy dollars. For kids use, following my kids around, I have a, a six-year-old that's just running places. If I'm following her around, I want a stable video. This is perfect because I can easily put this in my pocket, quickly get up and running, clamped onto my smartphone, even though my smartphone still has a case on it. Battery life is great. I charge it about once a week. It's ready for eight hours, but I still charge it about once a week. Came with a little carrying bag. I don't have much complaints about this. So for everyday use, yeah, I like this a lot and I would recommend it. This company home, they did send me this unit for review. I think this gimbal offers great value for just $70. I don't have much complaints about it. I like this and I would recommend it. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.